Hello, this is Steve from Beatles Leatherworks. And today's project is going to be a jacket. We're going to try to do a pretty quick video today because we're open and you're going to hear some background noise, some doorbells, telephone, traffic driving by. So this is a shot jacket. Okay? Very cool jacket. What we're going to do, we're going to take the length up about two and a half inches. Now we got a pocket here, so you can only do so much, you know, get close to the pocket, but two and a half inches, pretty about the safe side. Now, as far as the zipper is concerned, you can't cut the zipper off from the bottom. Okay, you've got to remove the zipper, lift it basically up two and a half inches, cut it from the top, and then reassemble everything. All right, so uh, let's get started. So I think it's going to be a quick video today. I'll do my best to make it as long as possible, but there's only so much I can do when we're open. And I wasn't going to make a video, but the customer requested it. I'm like, the timing was not good at all, but and I changed my mind. But he doesn't know it yet, so I'll, uh, I'll surprise him later when it gets done. All right, let's get started. It's not really, it's not a really difficult job. This was, well, I think it was like a $200 job or something. I mean, basically you're just gonna remove the zipper, shorten it, you know, take the lining apart and make the pattern the same way here and then restitch the, restitch the zipper back on. That's why, you know, it's not a, um, not going to be an old it's not going to be very long zip, zipper we let's try that again it's not going to be a very long a video all right you don't want to watch me take this thing apart so when i come back oh there's not gonna be much hammer time today so okay i want to warn you guys ahead of time okay Maybe a little bit of a, a little mini hammer time, but you know, not the big ones. All right, let's continue. Yeah, me bump into the camera. happen sometimes. You guys see this right here? There goes the camera. Oh my God. All right, calm down, everybody. Calm down. It'll be all right. Calm down. The tape just gave away. It's okay. Yes, I have a tripod. It's right there with the light thing, what you mean. But this is, you know, I want to get a close-up view. Anyway, I'm not going to edit that. You guys see this right here? This is like a nylon reinforcement they put on the bottom of the jacket so it doesn't lose the structure. Doesn't lose, you know, stretches out of shape. So we're gonna put that back once we cut the bottom out. Let's continue. <clears throat> Let's continue. Good afternoon, Beatles Leatherworks. Can I help you? One of uh, my pet peeves is that I see work um, done by other people. When they take something apart, 
they don't clean the old thread, right? And then once it gets stitched and, and put together, you've got a lot of fraying of old thread, which is, looks really, really crappy. So basically, this is a piece of crepe rubber. We just take it and rub it against the old stitches and the stitches come loose. And once you, and when you if I can talk, once you stitch it back, it looks nice and clean. No, uh, no fraying threads anywhere. All right, let's continue. Let me have it. I can hear you. Get a tripod, man, and that won't happen. <laughs> You're right. Let's continue. You know what? I have two tapes on the phone now. Yeah, that's right. It's not falling down. Uh-uh, not on my watch. <laughs> watch it fall down and make me look like an idiot. <laughs> Oh no, especially I'm gonna hammer it now. Oh my God, I didn't think about that. Come on now, stay. I can't hammer too hard. <laughs> oh my God, I cracked myself up. Maybe I should've put three tapes on there. Oh no. Uh, I'm videotaping. Let's continue. You've got to make sure that the lines line up on the lining you've got three pieces you got the chest chest and the back and there's side seams on there same with the jacket so it's got to line up when you're stitching that it's got a, the side panel pieces got to line up together I mean it's not it's not like a structural issue but it just doesn't look good if it's not That'd be 100%, not really, but 100%, but very close to it. Like, for example, here, where did it go? Everything's got measurements, everything is calculated. It's not just stitched together just for the hell of it. together like that. Alright, let's continue. Where are you? <clears throat> Alright, so we got we've got everything glued together, okay? The lining stitched to the jacket. Alright. Put the two pieces back together. Make sure measure it everything, make sure everything is the same distance. Before if it's not you can adjust it. Let's continue Good afternoon, Beatles Leather Works. It's just like the jacket. You got the zipper. We shortened that two and a half inches. Marked that to two and a half. Okay. And then you measure the end of the zipper to the end of it where the teeth are. That's an inch and a quarter. And you take that inch and a quarter from the in, from the two and a half. And that's the first mark at two and a half. You're going to cut that right there. 
this is a, it's called the top stop, right? We're going to reuse that. So just basically squeeze that and it comes out. If it breaks, you put another one on there. No big deal. And then you take your nippers and you cut the teeth until you get to that second mark you made, an inch and a quarter. Come on now. I don't have this much trouble cutting zippers off, tips off, teeth. Oh, that's why I'm videotaping. Mm. That's why. Once that's off, you put the top stop back on. I swear this never happens. Isn't that what they all say? And she's done. We'll put that, light that up a little bit. Light her up. Cool. Now the zipper is short. It should fit the jacket perfectly. Let's continue. So let me show you guys something. Whenever you're stitching two pieces together, okay, which you've got a seam right there, and you've got a seam right here, okay, when you're stitching from the top, you can't really see if the bottom is lined up to the top stitch. It always, you know, it always kind of goes off right or left, you know. So let me show you guys how I do that. I'll take a little bit of glue, okay. Just put it right here on the inside. Just a little bit. Okay. Nothing crazy. I was going to put the brush into the camera. <laughs> oh, my hunger is starting to affect me. So once you put a little glue, you're going to line this up here. Line them up together like that. Now some sometimes um, some zippers some zippers are tucked in all the way where you when you zip it the leather pieces come together you don't see the zipper some are exposed zippers right this one's going to be almost like not visible almost even with the edge so you don't see you don't see too much of the teeth okay so line these two up together like that okay and just kind of hammer it down so the two pieces that you just put glue on will hold together okay now once you've got that you take a safety pin small very thin pin and you push it through the hole see where it comes out if it's not lining up well you move the glue and you line it up again now once you're all lined up you're only gluing you know inside here you're not gluing the zip there's you know the pieces shut so you can't put the zipper in so once you've got everything together, then you go ahead and glue your zipper in. And then when you stitch it, it should be right in the same, same, well, I shouldn't say the same hole. It should be in the same line, the front and the back. I'll show you guys once I get done. Let's continue. Righty, righty, righty. Now you got to make sure that, you know, everything lines up, you know. Um, sometimes jackets have different panels, like there'll be a stitch here. So you want to make sure that when you zip it up, those two stitches line up good. Collar is good. Pockets are lined up. Made it two and a half inches shorter. And when you look at it, you're not really supposed to tell that it was taken apart. Okay, that's the whole idea and then it repaired. You know, you can't really patch it up where you're gonna be able to tell that it got repaired. Okay, all right, let's continue. All right, welcome back. We are done with the small, not too complicated projects. There was no really surprise along the way here. We just, it's your basic shortening the length of, of the jacket. 
And this um, shot, this is a very good jacket for some of you who don't know. They're in New York, so they still make these jackets, and they're good quality. Made in the USA. You can hardly find that anymore these days. So definitely, if you're looking into something like that, look them up and um, go check out and see what they got. I think if I'm not mistaken, from what I've read, or somebody told me, the Schott family, um, the grandfather designed the biker jacket. You know the biker jacket that's got the flap that flaps across and zips up here? The actual, you know, the, the leather biker jacket. I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, maybe I'll do some looking into if I, you know, if, it, if I have time that his grandfather designed that jacket. That's their like main jacket designs that they sell. So check them out, Shot S-H, I'm sorry, S-C-H-O-T-T. -T. Okay, they're in New York somewhere. All right, we're back. So we've got the customer here, his name is Sam. He's gonna try it on, okay. All right, let's turn this around. Say hi, Sam. Hi, everybody. Oh, that is perfect. Much better than what it was. The perfect fit. And there's that piece we put off right there. Oh, wow. Okay. You don't need it. We just, we just <laughs> keep it just to prove that it was cut off. Yeah, no, this is perfect. It's good. Absolutely perfect fit. I mean, such a, such a small amount, mm -hmm. but it makes such a big difference in such the look because your height is it's perfect for that jacket now you know it's not long at all so mm -hmm. cool all right man Great. thank you appreciate it thank you so much all right guys thanks for joining me again i hope we'll see you guys again next time if you guys have any questions please email me beatos at yahoo.com all right take care Bye bye